How's it going everybody? It's Tiki here back again with TA3 Productions and Vindictive Gaming and today we're going to be talking about Subscriber Island. So we're going to be talking about the new edition, all of the builds that have been built on it and uh, how you guys can get into it if you haven't been in it. So if you've never seen any of my videos, basically what Subscriber Island is, is uh, I let you come into my main world, my main world that I built a long time ago. This is probably one of the biggest maps on Xbox to date. So um, this is a huge world. A lot of people come and check it out when I'm online. And uh, a lot of people give me a ton of great feedback from it, so uh, you can have a c lot of recognition from it. But um, it's it's more about having fun and uh, seeing your build in such a humongous world, and that's why I like it. It's it's amazing, and it's pretty cool to have. It. So I know what some people are already saying. Well, do you go back in and delete them to make more room for other people? No, we basically expand the world, and that's what we did, and that's what we're going to show off today. All these builds in this map right now are pretty much here from a long time ago. Oh, look at the little dog. This is my dog. I think a lot of people mess up my dog, so I'm going to try to move him, but, um, actually it's not my dog, so, uh, yeah, go ahead and sit right there and be a boss, take up the road, and, uh, have a good time. Here's awesome Steve jumping at a hole that I built a long time ago. You can see this stuff is built a long time ago, and, um, that's how you can tell that your builds will always be in this world, as long as you put your name on there, and, uh, it's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and check out the new edition. That's a big old Gyarados that I just worked on, and, uh, it came out awesome. Pretty cool stuff. That's usually what I do when, uh, people are building. Here's a nice little stampy long nose uh, pixel art. I basically created that in uh, Photoshop and uh, pulled it into Minecraft and it came out pretty awesome. Here's a nice minion, I guess the other minion, I don't know what to call it. Optic Temper, ZZZ, um, pretty cool stuff. Here's a Dr. Mario by Swag Vivo, pretty cool. Because I love pixel art. Pixel art is just, it's the best thing, I think, in uh, Minecraft because it's pleasing to the eye. Over here we have a nice little modern house that looks like it's not finished, but hopefully it will be finished with a person that comes back in. And uh, finishes that up. Here's a nice little pig. I don't know who built this one. Oh, here's a sign. Forever Glide. Thank you for building that. It's pretty awesome. I think there's even a pig in there. I think I heard it. Um, here's a nice little flappy bird with the um, the Monsters Inc. guy on top of it. Optic Temper here again. And a lot of people are going to say, well, what happens if I want to build more? This is exactly a good example. There's a bunch of people that come in and just build a lot of stuff and uh, have a good time. You don't have to build just one thing and leave. Here's a Mrs. Lonely Girl inspired by my brother that shot though. And uh, this is a Slenderman, I believe. So that's pretty cool. Here's a couple of minions that are also built. This one was made by Nightmare Hood. Directly in front of it, we have a nice little home here built by Freeze Play 101. You can go ahead and check out inside. Uh, some of these people did do the interior. Some people didn't. This one's kind of in the middle. It has a little bit of interior, but not fully done. To our left over here, we have a Starbucks. This is like a uh, Starbucks knockoff. This was built by Typro. Some just cool stuff, little twerky things in here that just have a little bit of fun, and uh, people could check it out. This is a Pokeball. I think I built that one, so nothing special there. Uh, the Armory built by Guitar Boy 199. This is basically where you get all your uh, Armory in and have a good time. To our left over here, we have a uh, <laughs> this is a, a recruit built by Typro. Typro is actually in the build team, so he built this for uh, Minjol Gaming. Uh, if you want to join my build team, all you have to do is uh, basically message Minjol Gaming, and uh, you can get. Uh, in there, Christian. I don't know. Is that like eighty thousand, eight hundred thousand? Sorry, I don't know what that was. That looked like a uh, enchantment table. Stealth harp. There's a jukebox. Pretty nice. Here's a uh, Christian. That that eighty eight hundred thousand. I don't know what it is again. <laughs> oh, this is a nice little trip wire. I don't. I haven't really used trip wire. So um, hopefully in the future I'll be using that more often. Let me go ahead and get out of here. But um, yeah, it's actually a really cool feature. Like I said, the inside wasn't done. So um. It's a little point off of that. Twisting chart. I got a nice little uh, creeper head here. This is a bomb that I built. This is a uh, another uh, Angry Bird stuff here. That was by Twisting Chart. Uh, here's a nice little Spider-Man. Small Jack the Gamer. Nice. I like that one. That was pretty cool. This one is probably done by Twisting Chart because that's, I think that's his skin. Yeah, Twisting Chart. Here's another Flappy Bird. I guess this guy didn't see the other one, or the other guy didn't see this one. Jack the Gamer, nice, nice, nice builds. Jack the Gamer was going to work over here. Look at this big old happy face. That one's cool. I think this one was, uh, is that Meow? I think so. I'm not sure. I built that one, but it was on, like, this app that I saw, so I built it. It came out pretty nice. Here's my gamer tag if you need to know what's sick on the sticks. Alrighty, around in the corner, we have a ghost to our left, and then we have a awesome little, uh, watermelon lighthouse by Major Havoc. I've never seen anything like that. It's pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and check it out on top. I wonder if this is one of those rotating lighthouses that will lag the world. I'm not sure. Nope, this one's just a regular one with a little nice little light in here. Uh, one of my older ones, this, oh, that, that's pretty crazy looking. Uh, one of my older, uh, lighthouses actually had a rotating thing where it looked like it was actually, uh, flashing. That's actually really interesting. 
here's another Pokeball. Like I said, a lot of stuff will be duplicated because some people won't look around. They just want to get to building. This is made by Major Havoc again. To our left here, this is just a house. This was made in like 20 minutes by me. And to our right, uh, my other right, sorry. This was actually just left here behind, so I'm not sure if anybody is going to claim that. I may go in back in and fix it later, but, you know, it was there, so I just went ahead and fixed it up. And uh, this is basically my summer home for the uh, island. It actually came out pretty nice. Like I said, 20 minutes, nothing too fancy. There's my big old Gyarados. That took quite a while, but um, nothing nothing too hard. Pixel art is just fun to make. It's, it has really no skill because most of it's mapped out for you. And all, all three of those that you just saw was made by me. So, um, yeah. Anytime you see pixel art that I just skip over, it's usually made by me because I don't want to just say my name a lot. Um, here's a Pathetic Nightmare built by Jack the Gamer and Pathetic Number. I kind I helped a little bit. But um, these two guys wanted to build a roller coaster. and um, Or actually, I gave them the idea and they went with it. And uh, it came out pretty awesome, so let's go ahead and check it out real quick. It's pretty cool. Um, here you go, press the button. And uh, we got up here pretty quick. That's a, actually a sneak peek of what I'm going to show you next. And uh, this is pretty cool. Like I said, I really like the way it, it went into stuff and, and it was like intertwined. This is where you go down. This is really fast down there. And then it comes up to the top, drop down to the water, go back up. It's like a real roller coaster. I really like the wood feature. And uh, if you've ever been to Fiesta, Texas, in uh, San Antonio, they have a roller coaster called the Rattler and it's all made out of wood where it used to be now it's all a little bit updated and that, that's what this uh, roller coaster reminds me of but anyway moving on that was pretty awesome like I love that roller coaster like there's there's just some things I really love and uh, that's one of them here's a, a terrific house made by a uh, karma bis fiend I believe that's how you pronounce it hope that's how you pronounce it if not then uh, you can correct me in the comment section below and uh, here's a wonderful house wow look, I've never seen this basement oh wow this basement is actually underwater check it out if you look to our right over here, this is actually the house that we were just looking at underwater. That is a pretty insane view. And a nice pool table and a bar. That's an awesome man cave that I would love to have. And uh, got a nice little living room here with a, it looks like a little office or library in here. Uh, the store, I think, leads outside, so nothing too crancy. I think you might want to put some doors there, but um, just me. Moving on, got a nice little kitchen here with a big chair, I might add. Um, here's a kitchen, pretty nice. Let's see if the, the refrigerator works. Uh, I heard the thing, but you might have to refill your refrigerator. Maybe they just didn't go to the grocery store. But um, let's go ahead and check it out upstairs. Upstairs looks like there's just going to be two different rooms. Nice. Nothing in the chest. I can't raid you, but um, nice, nice rooms. Uh, this is probably one of the fanciest houses on this side of the map. Of course, my mansion's here. So, uh, <laughs> But um, this is also this is one of the more developed houses. I really like the way it was. And it's one of the only fully furnished houses that I have seen uh, on this side of the map. So it's, uh, that's actually really awesome and interesting. Uh, here's a nice little ride made by a pathetic number. This was actually really interesting. Um, if You have to use two because your boat might mess up if you don't know how to drive. Like me, I sometimes struggle at driving these boats. I just go way too fast and just haul butt like you're going to see right here. Check it out. Eee, boom. I just went straight in and actually dropped me through it. So I don't know if that's a glitch or uh, if it's just something I went through. But um. Yeah, I suck at riding boats. Like, look at this. I, I'm just horrible. Can't do it. Move. Go. 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 Okay. Wee. There we go. There's a nice satisfaction of the nice little slide. We might need to make a water slide, a bigger water slide, kind of like we did with the, uh, with the roller coaster. That would actually be pretty, pretty interesting to make a long one. And um, yeah. Anyways, cannabis fiend and abdominal nipple. I believe <laughs> that's an interesting name. But um, here's a nice house that they were working on together. This is a uh, semi-furnished house. This one isn't fully furnished like the other one. Upstairs don't have any furniture. But um, yeah. Actually, they do have a basement. I remember that because I actually helped, I think, one of his friends build it. And uh, she was having some trouble like going in. She wasn't really having trouble. It was just like I could hear her like putting blocks down. And I know the struggle of putting blocks down on the water. So um, I helped her out. Because all those basements in every house is underwater. And that's pretty crazy. Twix machine, I believe. One, two, three. I'm not sure if I said that right, but um, I do apologize if I did say that wrong because <laughs> I, I went really, really fast. This is a three-bedroom house. This is pretty interesting. Like I said, semi-furnished, nothing too fancy. Uh, I do like the uh, detail work with the floors and stuff. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to <laughs> this is Ty Pro. This is actually what I look like if you look at me. This is my skin that I use a lot. The reason why I use this skin, a lot of people wonder why I use it. It has nothing to do with my name. I love the tuxedo, so if 4 uh, Day Studios ever makes a tuxedo, a white tuxedo skin, 
I will use this in. Oh my god, I hate the rain. Please, in the comments, let me know if you like rain. Because if you do, I don't know what's wrong with you, but um, you're one of the people that I hate because, like, rain is not useful at all. Like, there's really no use. It's just an annoyance. And I hope 4J Studios in the future will take out rain or make, like, a, um, like a auto timer so you can get away. And uh, that was Ty Pro's uh, cake. It was his birthday a couple of weeks ago, I think, or last week. I'm not too sure. Here's a nice thing by Ty Pro as well. And uh, there's a Slenderman again. This, I think, was made by Ty Pro as well. Ty Pro is a really good builder and he was in here helped me a lot. And uh, this is actually, that's actually one of the features from my Hunger Games map. So if you didn't check that out, check it out in the description. Anyways, as for rules, this is actually the rules for the island. I will make you come and read these now from now on because um, I've had a couple of griefers come in here and try to do it. And uh, most of them do not get away with it because I'm very strict on how you get your privileges. I do not allow you to leave the island with your privileges. And um, I have all kinds of rules and that's just mainly because I have griefers out here all the time. And um, I just try to avoid that by doing a couple of rules there. Um, you could read those when you get in the map. Anyways, this is made by Mrs. Lonely Girl. This is a uh, semi-furnished house as well. Nice modern house. It's a little bit different. Uh, her roof is actually a little bit different. I've never seen anybody do that with the beds. And that's actually pretty interesting. <laughs> There's me. There's me. Hey, check me out. Check it out. But um, anyways, I've never seen anybody do the uh, that bed feature on the roof. It kind of intrigues me. Like I can kind of see people doing more stuff with that and uh, making it more uh, in-depth. That's pretty cool. This is a anvil made by me. Nothing too fancy. That was when I was trying to just blow time. Uh, Snake Venom 13. That's a nice little fountain. That's an awesome fountain, actually, I might add. That's probably one of the fountains I would use in a mega build. And, um, yeah. Anyways, here's my Gyarados. You've seen that already. Uh, oh, yeah. Up here, there's a Vinicto Gaming HQ sign. So if you don't remember my uh, YouTube channel, you can go ahead and check out the sign. I believe this was made by um jack the gamer jack the gamer was in here a lot he helped me a lot and uh thank you for the sign it looks amazing at night especially and bam did you see that coming did you see that humongous ghost guy it's not finished you can tell it's not finished but um look at that thing like that it looks amazing that was actually made by one of my subscribers not by me so uh it's made by mr quickscope and uh, he's not done yet i think it took like five hours and I'm pretty sure he was following a tutorial, but still, five hours is ridiculous. So don't ever say that I don't give you guys enough time. If you're doing stuff that big, uh, I will support you and I will stick with you throughout the whole time and uh, let you build it. It's pretty cool. Behind us is a VGHQ sign. It's actually made by Twisting Chart. Pretty nice. But um, anyways, I think that's it. I think that's everything in the in the edition of the Subscriber Island. So um, yeah, like I said, if I left you out, if I left a build out, let me know in the comment section below. I will um, basically go back in and look and see that I made sure that uh, everybody got included. But um, if you want to build in this island, all you have to do is put your gamers like in the comment section below and like this video. You know, a lot of people come to see it, so I uh, like it. You know, leave a like and that, that will let me know that you guys like to do this. And uh, yeah, anyways, I have been sick in the six, and until next time, guys, later. <laughs>